mostly flattened out now. <clears throat> that rub, or the run I should say, is now almost smooth to the surface. Keep on going over, rinsing your pad. And at some point you got to decide what's the limit to what you're going to accept without damaging the base coat. And I'm pretty much there right now. Alright, this is 400 grit. There's no way I'm going to be able to polish that to a shine. So now I need to remove as much of the grit from the 400 as possible and move to a finer paper. In this case we're going to jump right to a 2000 grit. And my goal at this point is to be sanding out the scratches left behind by the 400 grit paper. Like that, something not too harsh. I don't have any right handy. You want to use your feel on this. As I sit this down, I actually felt a little bit of a grit. This is a super fine paper. 2000 grit is almost like notebook paper. If you're running this around and you feel it grinding, there's something between the paper and the surface, if you continue, you're just going to scratch it all up. Go ahead and rinse the paper and get rid of any of that grit. You'll actually feel the surface begin to slick up under the paper. and will get a little uh, sticky feeling. Like it's building a suction between the paper and the surface. You know you've got a flaw while you're painting, and you know that you're going to move on to buffing and uh, wet sanding, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and put one more coat of clear on in the process, or especially in the area where the defect is. That way you get a little more material to remove without getting to base. Hey, um, my name is Edwin Campbell. I'm from the Bahamas. Um, I'm really impressed with my project. You now it came up pretty well. Now with a nice purple, amazing grape, Jason calls it. You know, I was thinking about it, putting on a car or car show I'm doing. I'm really impressed. Thank you, I.I.